talk to you? Why did you walk up to us to talk to you? We were yeah, running our own business. Indians, that's why. Oh, the Indians, they come to America yes. because they want a better life. Yes, but please. they're obviously not living the great life in India. You are the you one who's racist. Our why do you make you comments like that? You come from our country and you want You just said you're free. Mexican. How, could, how not, does that make I'm you? I'm a Mexican-American. I was born what here. What makes you think that we are not Were Americans? You what you makes you think that you're Because of the way you speak. Because I'm, I'm a Mexican-American but and I'm I speak to you. I'm Mexican and I paid my way here. What, why would you come and talk to us and make a racist oh, from camera? Don't, don't, don't touch me. I'm not going to talk to you. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, she's oh my God. Oh, she's hitting me. She's hitting me. That woman is, according to her, an American citizen. And America is very, very lucky to have her and people like her. That was a absolutely horrible attack, a literal physical attack against a group of Indian American women happening apparently in Dallas. And look, we've seen this sort of thing before. All, all of the elements are there. The focus on where someone was born, the attacking the way someone speaks, the feeling the need to involve yourself in the life of other people who are just trying to go about their life. Those women had apparently been out, they went to a restaurant and then they were accosted by this insane, this violently insane person who thankfully, and this is the good news and we don't often get to say this, was caught almost immediately. And so she is now facing charges. You can see this picture right here, Esmeralda Upton facing charges. This confrontation happened just Wednesday night outside the 60 Vines restaurant in suburban Dallas. On Thursday, Plano cops identified her and announced her arrest in the afternoon. She's facing one charge of assault bodily injury as well as one charge of terroristic threats. She's being held on a $10,000 bond and there might be other uh, charges because the cops say they are looking into this as a hate crime, which seems very reasonable. I don't know what else you could classify it as. Brett, what do you think? In some of these Karen videos, there's ambiguity as to who's at fault. And that's when I understand the Karen pulling out the camera. But mm -hmm. after you're just hurling racist epithets at people, for you to then take out your camera and film it, like, what do you think you're capturing? Because it isn't going to exonerate you. Start our businesses and protect them, and then everyone's called a white supremacist. I'm sorry, but we're not white supremacists. Well, I guess I'm not. Yes, I am, because the new, the term nowadays, white supremacist, means you're a patriot. So I have a sign that I do carry sometimes, and I say proud white supremacist, because a white supremacist is a patriot. And I don't appreciate defining people by their race, by their sex, by their beliefs, by their values, etc. We are all Americans, and I think coming with a resolution like that, like that divides our city even further. And I don't appreciate the suggestion. And I had no intent to speak, but now I'm mad. So anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate you allowing me to speak. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So for context, which I'm just gonna give you a spoiler, will not make what she said make much sense. She was speaking in response to a resolution stating that the town of Hayden values diversity and condemns racism and quote white supremacy and any groups that promote it. To which she identified as she apparently has for some time, Brett, as a proud white supremacist. So I feel like a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this because I wrote it off for something for the watch list earlier today, but it's actually not supremist, I-S-T, it's E-S-T. Because she thinks whites <laughs> aren't just supreme, they're the most supreme, they're the <laughs> supremist. Mm -hmm. The most of Who the supreme. supreme. Yeah. She wants to get a supreme inspired hoodie that just says white, just supreme. I'm at most a white supremer. Right. Not S. I'm, I'm not white the supreme. Best. Me this not the best. Um, I thought whites but, were cool until they invaded freaking Ukraine. Yeah. They're so invady. The whites latest. are so invady. They're right? the invadest, honestly. By the way, how have you gone this far after this video comes out and not had some sort of Simon Simonson thing? Because she's getting signs made up with intentional, maybe misspellings of racial pride. I feel like Simon, that's a market Simon Simonson of Simonson signs can tap into, I think. 
See, I want them all to have signs. I want to know. Like, it's kind of troubling. Actually, maybe I'm not. I, I want the sign ones because the sign people holding a sign look stupid when they're like, "This I went and got this made." Like I did a project. This is me and a kindergartner did very similar things today with glitter and paint and <laughs> and like big markers. 